Welcome to the 10th part of Spring Boot with Kubernetes tutorial series. In this video, we are going to implement the API endpoint for creating new bookmarks. The create new bookmark API endpoint uses HTTP method post and the API URL would be slash API slash bookmarks. And the request payload contains a title and URL of the bookmark. And once the bookmark is successfully saved into the database, we are going to respond with status code 201, which means created and with the payload uh, containing title URL and also the ID of that bookmark. Currently, we have this one API endpoint that supports fetching all the bookmarks and then searching for uh, bookmarks by title. So let us add one more handler to create a new bookmark. So we are going to use post mapping okay and we are going to have public uh, create bookmark of um, let's take object for now and it's going to be bookmark and here we do something and return the response so first thing is if we create a new resource successfully, the uh, ideal response status code that we should be returning is HTTP status code 201, which means created. So how we can do that? By default, if you don't specify any, um, any way explicitly what uh, status code you are returning, and once the handler successfully completed, it's going to return status code as OK 200. But in our case, we want to return uh, 201 what we can do we can use this annotation of response status and then specify what status code you want to return in case this handler successfully executed so in our case if you take a response uh, if you take a request and then process it successfully and uh, it is going to return status code 201 which refers to created okay cool next thing is we want to um, take the request payload and bind it to some object, right? So to what object we want to bind? Uh, should we bind it to the entity, bookmark entity, JPA entity? No, that's not a good idea because if in our case, that may be fine because we have only these fields and uh, it might not change much, but tying uh, database structure to the api response is not a good idea over the time you might want to change your database structure to optimize for performance or something like that which shouldn't affect the api responses so usually binding directly this request payloads to the database entities is not a good idea so we sh we don't want to do that uh, then what else we can do uh, we have bookmark dto which is not really directly tied to the database uh, tables but again here if you take a look at it it represents the whole bookmark data it contains id title url and created it but for our request for creating a new bookmark we are not accepting all these details we are accepting only these two uh, properties title and url so I would personally uh, prefer to create a new class that represents the create bookmarks request uh, and it will be clear that what I am expecting from this request, right? Uh, it will be more easy to understand uh, rather than if I use bookmark DTO, I don't know whether uh, I am expecting this created at uh, timestamp from the client or I am creating it on the back end. So, uh, and also if you use the same bookmark DTO for both create uh, bookmark and update bookmark, um, let's say we want to perform some validations right now what you can think of uh, okay let's add this not empty annotation uh, bin validation api annotations on title and url what about uh, id for creating a new bookmark it's not mandatory but for updating it could be mandatory so like that there will be permutations and combinations if you try to reuse the same object for everything uh, so instead of uh, making this a mess I personally prefer to create a separate object like uh, let's say create request book, uh, bookmark request create bookmark request okay and here I will use uh, alarm box setter and getter okay and it will have only title and URL 
and also I will apply this Java uh, bean validation API annotations like not empty. So in our case, these two fields are mandatory. URL should not be empty. So anybody who is going to maintain this code base will be very clear that okay for this create request uh, only we are expecting these two fields and uh, it is very clear okay so now let us go back to our controller and here instead of bookmark uh, we would like to bind it to create bookmark request I'll make it as request and also while binding this json payload to this object we should be using it request body and also to trigger the validation we should add this at valid annotation so with this annotation spring boot automatically tries to uh, take that json uh, payload and uh, convert it into a create bookmark request object using uh, jackson behind the scenes and also trigger the validations so if you are not sending title or url it's going to automatically validate that and then throw exception okay okay what about uh, return type we want to return uh, created uh, bookmark data right so in this case um, returning bookmark dto would be sufficient here uh, bookmark dto would represent a bookmark data um, you may think maybe just like the way we create a new um, class for representing the create bookmark request payload we might want to create a, a create bookmark response also but in that in this case i think uh, returning bookmarks uh, dto which is uh, representing one bookmark entity uh, information that is sufficient okay so again it depends on the case uh, if your application is a large application and you want to return different different representations of uh, same uh, object you might definitely want to go for creating a uh, specific response object but in this application it's it makes fine uh, to return this bookmark detail okay so what uh, we need to do let us call a service create a bookmark and pass the request okay so here we don't have this method uh, so far let us create this so here um, if you notice we have transactional at the class level which is um, which is sufficient we don't have to add it here uh, for these two methods we added read only flag true because they are doing only read only operations but in this case we are going to uh, do the uh, in, uh, insert operation so we shouldn't add this one uh, what else we can do here so first we need to prepare the bookmark entity okay bookmark new bookmark and here we have a uh, uh, constructor which takes id title url and created it so id would be generated so i'll pass null and I can take the title from request and request start get URL and here I can pass local so let us see what it has it's an instant right instant no okay we have created this bookmark entity and we can persist that using repository dot save method which is going to return saved bookmark okay now we want to return bookmark dto if you remember we have created a bookmark mapper class earlier and uh, there is a method which takes bookmark entity and convert it into uh, bookmark dto again um, for now it looks it doesn't 
give much value because we are literally having the exact same properties and taking from this and copying it to bookmark DTO and returning. But in uh, complex applications, there will be different representations of uh, entity and the kind of response you return uh, might be different. So this is the pattern that we can follow. So here, once we have this, uh, let us auto wire that bookmark mapper private final bookmark mapper and here we can return bookmark mapper dot to dto save bookmark okay so i think we are good and let us start the application okay application is started now let us first let us query what bookmarks we already have okay we got some response now there is uh, this post api slash bookmarks endpoint and here i am uh, submitting this payload title with uh, seva labs blog and url uh, seva labs start in and if i submit so I got the response with ID 552 and title URL and created it. Okay. So now let us go back to this get request and then so here we can see that is included over here. So it's working fine. But what about if I don't include title? Okay. So here if I send, I'm getting this uh, big json uh, error response with uh, status code as 400 yes it is right because uh, it's a bad request we should be including title but it is missing those so it falls into this uh, 400 bad request category and also it includes the whole uh, trace exception stack trace and then it also includes some message saying validation failed for so and so and errors and codes and all this but while uh, it is giving a lot of details for the developer uh, probably this is not the kind of response you would like to return to the clients right you would like to return some meaningful response where only necessary details are revealed right now it is just uh, returning the whole implementation detail what framework you are using and uh, all the stack trace which shouldn't be returned okay so how we can handle this like uh, you may be uh, you could write some logic here to handle the exception and then uh, uh, you can convert the error into some meaningful uh, response format with error details included but there is a library which already does that there is a library called problem spring web which takes care of uh, converting all that error details into appropriate json responses okay and i have already created a, a video on spring boot tips part 7 which specifically talks about how to handle exceptions in spring boot rest apis using problem spring web so i highly recommend you to watch this video to learn how we can use this library to handle the exception so i'm going to quickly apply this whatever i uh, explained in this video in our case okay so here this is a, a wonderful library that we can use right now let us take this dependency go back and open our palm.xml and let me add it over here and the problem spring web currently the latest version is uh, let me 0.27 zero okay let me refresh so for uh, basic scenarios adding this starter is sufficient uh, to, to uh, kick in uh, auto configuration and everything you don't have to configure anything else but if you want to fine tune some of the configuration you can do that but right now let us uh, restart and then fire the same invalid request and see what kind of response it's going to give okay application is started now i am triggering the same api endpoint 
so now it it is not giving all that uh, low level details and everything here we can see status code as 400 and then uh, violations what exactly went wrong like uh, here the field title is invalid and the uh, message title should not be empty okay title constraint violation so here we have uh, sufficient details to understand what went wrong with this request let us say uh, we don't provide any both title and URL you can see all the uh, problems that are there with our request are displayed in this uh, violations okay so this is a fantastic library without we uh, having to write a lot of code it automatically handles all that and then uh, convert this into meaningful JSON responses okay uh, let us let's try a valid request now yeah so it's working fine cool so we have our create bookmark API endpoint ready let us add uh, integration test for it so I have already uh, created a test uh, bookmark controller test which is performing integration test and we are uh, using um, test containers for spinning up Postgres and then uh, executing all the integration test so earlier we already implemented um, test for getting the bookmarks and I have just added this test so here we have one test that says create bookmark successfully where we are uh, posting to slash api slash bookmarks of content type application json and we are including this uh, request payload with title and url and we expect it the response status to be created which means 201 and also we are expecting the id should not be a null and title and url also so what are the payload we are sending we are asserting those and also asserting id is not null in addition to that we are uh, writing one uh, test case where uh, for a failure scenario where we are posting only title there is no url url is a mandatory field so in that case we expect uh, some uh, failure response right so here if you take a look at this let us remove this and then see what kind of response we get so here sorry so here uh, when we don't include url or title this is the response format we are getting right so here we are asserting um, content type is application problem json yeah uh, here you can see content type is application slash problem plus json and in the body we are asserting type is uh, this Jalando's yeah, url constraint violation and title is constraint violation status is 400 number of violations is one because we have title but not a url and also we are asserting what is the field what is the message so uh, we have this for uh, failure scenario so let us run this uh, bookmark controller test and see yeah it is working fine all the test cases are passing cool <coughs> so i think uh, we are good with uh, create bookmark api endpoint uh, we have implemented it and then we have written uh, integration test as well cool uh, that's it for this video and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thanks for watching bye bye